Okay, part two, uh, which is the actual first match of the show, Nia Jax versus Bailey for the WWE Women's World Championship. Sorry, WWE Women's Championship, the World Championships, uh, Liv Morgan's and going to be featured later. Just before that, there was um, a show opening where we saw an announcement that Jacqueline, Lillian Garcia and Booker T were all watching from the crowd. Then it showed the host, which was Jay Cargill, Bianca Belair and Naomi, who were hosting a party with Jey Uso, DDP, Mickey James, X-Pac and more. And we then went to the ring for the first match of the night, which, as mentioned, was Bailey versus Nia Jax. Nia controlled the match for the first few minutes. It was very one-sided for a while and until Bailey started to use her speed against Nia by running off and evading her a bit. And um, Nia went to the outside. Bailey then hit her with a baseball slide. It was pretty cool. Um, Nia took control again by going for like a Hurricane Rana type move, which I'm not sure if it was a botch or not. It was, it was like um, instead of her legs going on the shoulders of Bailey, they went under her armpits. It was it was weird. Um, Bailey then hit a sunset flip into the turnbuckle, which looked like it had tweaked a knee because Nia landed on her, and she got like a bit of a limp for the rest of the match. A lot of cool shit then happened outside involving the steel steps. Nia crashed into them. Bailey dropped a flying elbow off them, and Nia powerbombed Bailey. On the then threw her into the the ring apron. At, not the ring apron, sorry, the guardrails. Then threw her back in the ring. Um, then went very back and forth. Bailey then impressively hit Nia with a Samoan drop of her own. Um, Nia then went to grab Bailey. Got kicked in the face and landed on the ref. Um, so the ref was down. Bailey then hit a pop up stunner and got a seven count from the crowd's uh, chant along. And uh, all of a sudden, the music hits. It's Tiffy time. Tiffany runs down with the briefcase, which is what I was predicting. I, I thought I was going to be right, but I wasn't because Naya woke up just in time to scare Tiffany out of cashing in the money in the bank. I then hit an av avalanche Samoan drop, followed by an annihilator to get the freak out and retain. I then noticeably left without Tiffany. So, yeah, Nia Jax, still the WWE Women's Champion. And I'm going through this quite quickly, but I, I don't want to miss that much of the show myself live. Um, but, yeah, good match. One of the best matches I've seen Nia Jax in, so, so that's good. Um, yeah, it, it was really good. Following that, there was also a huge announcement where there was like a... A video package that we well video seg segment of Megan the Stallion, I think I'm saying that name wrong, uh, calling Bianca Belair, and um, that was to announce that SummerSlam in 2025 was going to be two nights, and then they followed that up with a, an NXT vignette because NXT's moved to the CW, and the next show, which is Tuesday, is coming from St Louis, and or St Louis even, I, it's it's half past. Half past midnight in the UK, I'm very sleepy. My words aren't coming to me properly. But because it's in his hometown, Randy Orton is going to have his first ever NXT match. So that should be good. Anyway, that's it for, for this clip. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in a second. <laughs> 